Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Mm -hmm. Getting those provenance docks together was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. But, ah, uh, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown, those were the days. What crackdown? Yeah. Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad story I call How Mexico Lost Its Sense of Humor. Not today, though, Nancy. Oh, that sounds like a very sad story. Alejandro says you're unethical, a modern-day conquistador. Mm -hmm. That you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. Yeah. <laughs> And I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground, a lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. Ooh. When you sell a piece of art, what kind of commission do you get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom, unless of course you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? Um, I better get going. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Let's see that picture again. Wow, that's kind of a strange looking picture. In any case, back to the museum. Back to the museum. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, but I go in anyway. Yay! Because now that you know how the, uh, Maya, the uh, Maya numbering system works, you can... Uh, Order all the numbers and order from 1 to, uh, what's the number? 19. Now, if you remember Sonny's notes, I'll put them up here so you can, uh, reread them. I will probably have to go back and forth between those notes quite often. Do, 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 do. So let me see. Zero is the turtle shell. Here's one. One means a dot. Now two dots would be two. Do we have a number two? No, we don't. Do we have three dots? Which would be three. But we have four dots, which is four. So four dots goes there. Now a bar equals just uh, five. So this is five. Okay, a bar and two dots is seven. Okay, uh, let me see. This would be this would be fifteen. 15 plus 1, so that'd be 16. Or 16. Oh, there's 16. This is 8. 6, 7, 8. And this is 7. And this is... Ah, sorry, I got distracted here. This would be 14. Where's 14? Okay, so we've got 14 in place. Do we have all these numbers in place, right? We do. Cool. So this is 10. Let's put 10 in place. This is 11. Let's put 11 in place. This is 12. Let's put 12 in place. 13 is in place. 14 is in place. Now this would be 15. 16. Again, this would be 18. Great. So now all I have to do is uh, identify the uh, pictures. Cool. So what's the picture for number 3? Let me double check Sonny's notes. Okay, number three looks like a doctor. Great. And this is completely out of place. What is this? This is 17, right? 17. Where's 17? Right? Is that 17? There's 17. Now, number two. Oh, hey, by coincidence, I found number two. Number two has the hat with five little points on top. So let's see, who's number six? Six has an eye patch. Okay. Oh, and there you go! That looks right. Yay! So that's the last of the chores, I believe. Do -do 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 -do. So let's go, uh... Do -do -do. Let's mark that off the list of things to do. Henrik? Oh, Henrik's not here anymore. Do -do -do. In any case... Done? Cool, so we've done everything, so now we just need to uh, go to Joanna and ask her what we can do now. Well, let's explore a bit. I haven't explored here, have I? The Chaco, Col the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Good, good, good. That's important. You'll find out more about that later. And this is teaching you how to use the uh, machine, which is over here to your... Over here to the right, which I'll show you. 
do this machine, see? It's, uh, it's a radio. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Okay, fine. I won't show you the radio. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Darn. Anything else here we can look at? You can look at this. It's an analyzer. Do to do, but you can't use it without permission. Do to do. And finally, I think you can look at this. And it's a thingy. Cool. Ooh, and the periodic table of the elements. Yay! Well, let's go see G. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't see Joanna. Something's going on. Oh, hey, there's Joanna. Beach Hill's been hit. Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. Oh, okay. What's happened? Oh, they've just been robbed. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh no, it's the jade carving! I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. That's not good. The million dollar jade carving? Half a million dollar jade carving, I mean. Let's talk to Joanna. It's locked. It's locked? It's locked? That's because it's nine, at nine in the morning or nine at night. To do my mistake, everybody. I'm going to come back here tomorrow and then talk to Joanna. Hehehehe. <laughs> what time is it? Nine nine a.m. What? She's not there at nine a.m. Most businesses start at eight a.m. That's when school starts, anyway. Do do do. Okay, back to the museum. Now let's talk to Joanna. I can't believe it. We just got robbed. Joanna, what's going on? Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. I'd like to have a look at the crime scene myself. Did the police turn up any clues? Yeah. The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. Cool. Great. I'll let you know if I find anything. Go to it. Great. So Joanna has just given us permission to examine the crime scene. I bet Nancy's going to find something cool. Do -do 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 -do. Well, basically she finds this. A SCARLET HAND! I bet that's why they call this game Nancy Drew, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. And what else can you look at? Is there anything else here? I think there is. Oh, never mind, there's nothing you can look at. But what you have to do is go back to Joanna. Joanna, Joanna, where are you, Joanna? Oh, Joanna, oh, don't you cry for me. I come from Alabama with... Need something? With a handprint. I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Mm -hmm. Fred, I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? So now we can analyze it in the lab. Yay! Do you think Alejandro would go to extreme measures, like stealing, to reclaim Mexico's artifacts? Who knows? Oh, okay, uh... I've got work to do. We don't need to ask her about it. Henrik. We're going to see Henrik, right? He's always hanging about in the lab. Hold on a second. Here we are in the lab. Okay, so let's analyze the uh, Scarlet Hand. And as you can see, there are a couple of glyphs on top of the hand. So Henrik's going to be able to translate them for us. The Krollmeister Spectro X Archaeo Analyzer. Yay! Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the uh -huh. handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. Okay, so let's see. There we go, that looks like a match. That's it! So. Okay, so HGS, that's uh, what the uh, the handprint was made that with. Doesn't work. Do -do -do. For those of you who aren't familiar with science and the periodic table of the elements, S is sulfur. Sulfur. And HG stands for mercury. Where's mercury? It's around here somewhere, right? It's one of the metals. According to 
According to this chart, HG stands for Mercury. Mm hmm So? So the handprint was made from Mercury and Sulfur. Good thinking, Nancy.